Hey, Secrets readers, it's Carlo LaRosso, editor-in-chief of Secrets of Home Theater and Hi-Fi, and we are coming to you from points unknown to uh, CES 2023 in Las Vegas, where we are meeting with the fine folks at uh, Focal Name America. And here we have Chris Cho from uh, Focal, and uh, he is been gracious enough to uh, take some time and walk us through uh, some of the uh, wonderful th- new uh, products that uh, Focal and Name are uh, have brought to CES 2023. So, Chris, uh, thanks so much again for your time, and uh, great to see you. And what you got for us, sir? Well, thanks for having us. Um, obviously, uh, you know we're very excited to be here at CES again, finally. Uh, obviously, and. Um, mm-hmm with it uh, launching some new stuff, some new products, some new finishes, which is, again, very exciting. Um, so, again, I, I mean, we can just kind of get into it, I guess. Let's let's do it. We'll, well, we'll just jump right finishes. in. Yeah, we'll start with finishes, obviously. Uh, so our Soper line within the Folk L line has been with us for, mm-hmm. you know, around five or six years. And so with that is that we have uh, two new finishes that we just recently launched with it is right. that uh, we have a new brown concrete and mm. a black Oystria. Oystria. So with this, yes. And again, that's it's been killing me that name all week. So bear with me. I think I got it. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's cool. What's really, what's really unique about this is it's um the finish is almost a 3D pattern. It's actually a oh, wow. hand-laid finish on the speaker. So each speaker is individual. Which does it have really does it have exciting. sort of like a texture? I mean like a yeah, sort of texture to exactly. it? Exactly. Oh and neat. so so now we have not only just a speaker, but really a piece of art. Is, is uh, what this is. Right. Any idea how long it, uh, how difficult to finish, or how long it takes to apply, or what? What's... Um, again, I mean, we don't want to give out too many trade secrets, obviously, but uh, mm-hmm. again, there is obviously some time invested into it because it is a hand laid process, and you know, something that we just can't automate. Right, right, but it definitely takes a, a bit of time to per speaker to get it to get it to where where it's perfect and everything. I would exactly. imagine. Yeah. Oh, very neat. Striking so again, color that, too. That's been very exciting. Um, obviously, you know, we want to we want to integrate into the home, you know, as mm-hmm. seamless as possible. And and if we have to maybe almost integrate by being standout-ish, that's mm-hmm. even better. I've seen other manufacturers take tax like, you know, automotive finishes and stuff like that. And this is something I haven't uh, I haven't really really seen before. It's very unique. Very interesting. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. You know, and again, the automotive finishes is, is somewhat what we're what we're known for. Obviously, right. with our lacquer finishes in most of our products. Um, again, the uniqueness of, of our different materials that we use, and so again, this is just another evolutionary step to it. Very cool. Very very so, nice. Okay. That's uh, again been very popular. We've had a lot of uh, you know a lot of positive uh, feedback on 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 the on the finish. Um, you know, not necessarily as brown everybody's color, but. But oh. we've had, you know, amazing feedback on it. I'm assuming it's a um a, a, a price upgrade over a standard finish. I would I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, so it's actually quite minimal. Um, it runs roughly about five hundred dollars per speaker. Oh, so that's actually we, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, which is actually quite reasonable in in reality. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that takes us right around from twenty four up to around twenty five thousand for a pair. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow, very nice. Yeah. Oh so yeah. We're we're very excited about that. Yeah, so. I, it's a lot to be excited about. That's awesome. That is yeah. very gorgeous. Um, well, we're also uh, excited about um, some new electronic gear as well. Um, right, right. Again, so again, we are, you know, we are Focal, but we're also actually Focal name. And again, that was a partnership that's been 10 years in the making. Mm-hmm. And so what that is, is that, you know, we have this this uh, this partnership where we gain Focal is doing the speaker side of things and name is doing the electronics. So again, we are we're very um excited to introduce our new classic series of, of product lines mm-hmm. oh great so, and i will get my uh my camera person here to help me <laughs> <laughs> so. A lovely and gracious camera person right no i go. apologize like i said we are doing this remotely that that's all right fun. that's all right this awesome. is this is guerrilla filmmaking here that's what this is <laughs> So, and I've got a little message here. I'm just going to click it off so I can see the screen. So, um, so with this is, as I mentioned, new classic, uh, new classic. It's exciting because again, this is a revamp on a product line that's had the kind of the same finish fit finish for the last 20 years. So I was going to say the, the, the classic series has been around for a while, hasn't it? 
Exactly. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. I think we were just discussing this. It was, I think we're on our fourth generation now. This is the okay. fourth generation of classic. Um, so again, okay. we're very excited. Um, probably first of all, the most noticeable difference is, is the fit and finish. I mean, we've mm-hmm. changed it from something that was very, uh, you know, very, very basic to something that is more integrated into the home. Yeah. It's very, very uh, sleek and, uh, and just uh, sharp and, clean and very modern looking so with it is that we have uh three new models um Mm -hmm. again we'll start with our our top model here uh the nsc222 this is our brand new integrated uh pre-amplifier streamer system oh yeah Uh, as you can see the fit and finish is a combination of the brushed aluminum with the uh with the gloss black acrylics that's gorgeous secondly from there is uh you know we've taken a lot of the styling cues from the series uh previous to this or prior or below this uh, a unity and mm-hmm. we've added you know a full color display on the front to this will allow us to see you know what source units mm-hmm. we're using uh you know album artwork comes up uh, up on the unit itself as well which is really wow. exciting um and again it has that same kind of stylings of unity with the you know with the play pause buttons and some of the favorite buttons down, mm-hmm. uh, down yeah the right yeah oh very sharp very very sharp wow so um and also uh, one of the things that we're kind of you know being real well known for is obviously our volume control um again Mm -hmm. basically Mm -hmm. you know in some of our other models the statement the muso um you know the unity product we you know we've got that big ball bearing yeah on the top yeah Um, obviously this being kind of more engineered towards you know equipment racks is that we've taken that kind of same uh proprietary volume and now placed it on the front very neat yeah that volume control uh i've I've been playing with it on a uh, on a unity atom uh headphone edition and it's uh it's just the sweetest thing in the world that is so cool uh, yeah it's really really cool feature so um one of the other cool features about this is that um you know one of the things that we that we've been kind of known for is the proprietary cable systems in name so where name right. played with name mm-hmm. um, and, th- and that was wonderful um but again you almost had to have a master's degree to figure out what cables needed where i remember cables, yeah like that and it was i mean obviously there's a reason for it and again our, our name engineers are amazing um but again we wanted to be able to expand upon this and so with this is that you know, we've now gone to a balanced XLR uh, output. Uh, so we cool. We're compatible with other components out there. Okay. And other Very components neat. are compatible with us. Very cool. A- RC, do you have both RCA and XLR or strictly XLR? Uh, so, we, yeah, we do have RCA outputs. Uh, we have XLRs, but we also kept the proprietary uh, named DIN system as well. Oh, really? You still have the DIN connectors? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, again, we have those advantages. Um, Very neat. And again, so that's that's really exciting. Um, with the NSC no too, um, we've also incorporated a phono stage as well into this unit. Very nice. Wow, that's that looks like that's just one heck of a neat looking uh, looking preamplifier. What's uh, what's the price on that? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, so, so retail on this is going to be uh, just just shy of eight uh, nine thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. Very so, neat. Um, and, well, but it looks like a one a one stop solution. Basically, it's got well, it's got everything yeah, you need game, almost. Yeah, so again, an integrated pre-amplifier streamer system um, mm-hmm. in phono amplifier. And one of the cool features of this is that we can take that that phono section or that input of the phono, digitize mm-hmm. it, and actually transfer it to any of the other name streamers that we have on the ecosystem. So now you're not just limited to listening to your vinyl in a single room. Ah, you your vinyl throughout the entire. Uh, so you can. So basically, you you can you can you can take your vinyl, for example, like you're saying digitize the signal and basically stream it to another name to component another name somewhere else in the house basically yes. yeah oh it's very cool upwards of eight to 12 pieces depending on the uh, strength of the network so it also acts as a network hub basically and and yeah. just uh, with other name components that's that's awesome very yeah, cool it's a really cool feature Oh, and it'll do it wirelessly, or or is, does it have to be hardwired? Yeah, to so do no, it? you can do it wirelessly. Again, all of our units are uh, wireless. And again, like I said, I uh, you know I've got my colleague uh, that is usually really in depth with name, and unfortunately he's, he fell sick this week, so I'm oh. doing that one thousand foot view of, of the product for the sure. Cur- so. The curse of uh, loss of, uh, of uh, CES is <laughs> like getting sick. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> no, Sorry. I mean, like I said, we do some really cool things. Like the heat sinks are actually the Wi-Fi antennas. Oh. Um, which is cool. really 
Yeah, that's so we don't have thing. these really, you know, little rabbit ears on the backside of it. So again, that's crazy. That's wild. Cool, really cool things. Oh man, I've never heard of such a thing. That is wild. Uh, <laughs> I then again, I'm easily amused. So that's it's quite all right. But no, that's cool. That's very very cool. Um, so again, that's that's one of the three pieces that we launched. Um, mm-hmm. The second one is is our new amplifier. This is our NAP 250. Right. Uh, again, this is a continuation of the model number, uh, but again, a fully re, you know redesigned chassis. Mm-hmm. Um, the truth is, is this is our most powerful NAP 250 that we have ever built. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, sitting at roughly 100 watts by two. Okay. And again, it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but if if you know if you've used name in the past, is that we're we're really about high current and again really underrating our 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 power ratings. Is that into is that 100 into eight ohm or into or into four? So that's rated at eight ohm. Yes. Eight ohm. Okay. So obviously double into four and you know and, and but conservatively. Okay. Yeah. 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 Very so, neat. Again, uh, again, following the same styling cues as the NSC two two two. Again, with the acrylic and the brushed aluminum features. Uh, again, balanced XLR inputs, which again mm. we're excited about. So again, making us compatible uh, for for many many options. Oh man, very nice. Yeah, that's that's that sounds outstanding. I don't awesome. know. Yeah, and again, we've made pricing really easy on it because it's also just under $9,000 as well. So <laughs> let me guess. The other thing is going to be 9,000 too. So it'll be nine, nine and nine. Wow. I mean, uh, you're, you're giving up all my secrets. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh man. No, well, Hey, it's that's, so, that's, so that's there's, there's one, uh, one last component. Um, mm-hmm. and again, this is our, uh, NPX 300. Mm-hmm. And again, we will just focus down a little bit lower there. And so mm-hmm. it just, it was just sitting underneath the streamer. So one of the cool things that name has always done um, you know, through its history is is develop a upgrade path for, for the end user. I mean, traditionally, if uh, uh, an end user wants to buy a piece of product and then upgrade is that they sell that piece of product and then buy the next best thing right. to, to upgrade themselves. And so with name is, is that what we what they want to develop was that you could start with a piece and then have the ability to to upgrade that piece. So you don't have okay. to sell that piece to upgrade it. Okay. And so one of the concepts is that we have what, uh, you know, if we if we look at the name architecture is that we put all the components and we'll talk, you know, source, pre-amplifier, amplifier, and speakers. And so we have products that have all four of those components in it. As we move up the line, we start removing things out of the box. So mm. the Unity, we remove the speakers out of the box. So now mm. it's source, pre-amp, amplifier. Mm-hmm. And when we get up into, you know, into the classic, here again, we've now taken that all in one unit and removed the amplifier, mm-hmm. and the upgrade path is now removing the power supply, so oh, that we can have a separate power supply. power supply. Ah, interesting. Okay, very neat. Ah, now okay. will that will that power supply uh, work uh, multiple component? Um, obviously, multiple components, or is correct? It strictly- yes. Okay. So again, right. it allows us to have basically one model to uh, upgrade all of our source units. And so with it is that we'll have proprietary cables to do this. Um, But what's even greater is is that we also have the ability to uh, use this unit with legacy units. So with the old Mm. units, we are backwards compatible with that as well. Oh, very neat. Oh, very crafty. Excellent. So that one power supply will run the uh, the the, uh, the preamp and the power amp and how yeah, many other? So, com- I mean, uh, so it was mainly on our source unit. So oh, source unit. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, our basically any of our streamers, um, any of the preamplifiers or preamplifier streamer integrated. How I mean, then? I mean, how, so how many source units could could the power supply uh, run basically, or how so many? It, be- so it's 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 one power supply per unit. One power supply um, per so unit. Okay. Again, we have you know when we start getting to our top line stuff is that we could actually put two power supplies to a single unit. You know, one for left channel, one for right channel. If you oh, okay. really crazy. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go to town completely. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Oh, well, that's that's very neat. That's I just can't get over how good those products look. I mean, that's that's just just stunning oh, and, looking. And I mean, they 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 honestly they look better in person. Oh, well, it goes without saying, but still of course. very, very neat. Uh, and of course, it's nine thousand dollars. So you got nine, nine and nine. Correct. Very neat. Very neat. So again, make it make it nice and simple that way. 
Very, very cool. And uh, and what's that turntable I spy next to next to the? Um, so, so this is uh, this is new to us. Um, again, with us at, at Focal Name America. Um, again, obviously we distribute Focal and Name uh, throughout the U.S. as well as a few other different lines. And so, with this, uh, we have uh, just become the new North American distributor for uh, a turntable out of out of the U.K. called Avid. Mm. So again. Um, mm. Uh, very new to us. Like I said, I, uh, I'm not necessarily a turntable guy myself. So again, I, I, you know, I had the manual cracked out an hour before we had it playing. So, <laughs> um, but again, really exciting, uh, product. And again, we'll have more information on this, uh, in the coming weeks. Very cool. Very cool. Well, this is out, this is outstanding. I mean, very, very impressive and, and, and beautiful looking equipment from name and, and, uh, how's the, how's the response been at the show so far? Oh, it's been amazing. Uh, again, we've, uh, gosh, I, I can't even count how many people we've had through the suite here, which, uh, which has been crazy, uh, which is awesome. Um, and the fact is, is that we, we almost have to kick people out. They, they just want to leave. So, oh, well, that is, that is the, that's the best sign you could hope for. That's awesome. For sure. Does that basically cover all the new stuff that we got uh, that you got for us at the show today? Well, no. Uh, and, and like I said, we 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 always love to have surprises around here. So okay. again, we'll get my my camera person to follow me around. <laughs> follow me, camera person. <laughs> all right. So Vestia is again a new series of uh, of products that we are again launching here at CES. Uh, with it is that. Um, Again, we'll do some adjustments here. No worries. It's just not a body talking to you. <laughs> so, um, so currently, uh, previous to Vestia is that we had five series within our floor standing line, and this will now add the six. And so this will be basically the step up from the current core line. Oh, okay. Um, so it will sit between core and aria. So Excellent. Again, we're All right. very excited about uh, about this category. Hmm. Um, with it is that, uh, you know, we're using our proprietary cone technology called Slate Fiber. So, again, that technology okay. that we, we introduced uh, or developed for Core is mm -hmm. now migrated into, into Bestia. Nice. Uh, we're, we're also introducing a new tweeter. Uh, this game hmm. tweeter that we developed on our car audio uh, profiles. Our oh. clutch, and it's now being migrated into the home stuff. So, this is a new M-profile aluminum magnesium tweeter. Oh, very neat. Okay. Neat. Excellent. So, um, with this, is, uh, it gives us some some really major advantages. Uh, with this new M profile, it allows us to extend the frequency range, uh, mm -hmm. both on the higher and the lower side of the tweeter. Uh, so currently, right now, I mean, the you know resonant frequency of this sits around 480 hertz on a tweeter, which is crazy. I'll say, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and, uh, completely and, out of uh, band. All right. Yeah, and we have the ability to extend all the way up to wow. 35,000 hertz. Um, so again. That's giving us that spaciousness, that openness, that that those nuances that you know we tend to maybe miss on some of the other products. Excellent. But so no, no, of course not. No. Of course not. <laughs> oh, but excellent, excellent. Now you sort of similar uh, similar sort of um, M design in, in I think the headphone drivers as well as am, am I not mistaken? Yeah, and that's, mistaken? and that's exactly it. Is that you know the M profile that was developed uh, that we utilize on the the Utopia, the Stelia, and and all the high end headphones. Um, even the brand new Batiste is using that M profile. Again, it came from the car division, and again is now migrating into uh, into the uh, floor standing product. Nice. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Ah, uh, now so how many how many models are are totally in the line? So with it is that we will have five models. Um, okay. Again, we've uh, we've kind of gone to back to our roots when it comes to naming uh, them. So again, we will start with the bookshelf, uh, mm -hmm. Avestia number one, and then Avestia number two. Okay. From there, and again, we will just pan over in the corner. We have a Vestia number three, three. in the lightwood finish, mm -hmm. and then uh, we have a fourth model, Vestia number four, which basically gives us dual eight-inch uh, mid-bass drivers. Okay. Wow. That, that, that and then uh, last but not least is, of course, we have a Core Center, or sorry, Vestia Center. Vestia Center. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and Center. Nice. Correct. Very cool. Excellent. Yeah. Very handsome looking speakers for sure. And um, um, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And what uh, tip, what's, um, what's the price, uh, roughly the price range uh, on the, on the speakers, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, so we'll start uh, sub, sub 2000 for a pair of the Vestia number ones. Okay. And we price out around about 4,000 for a set of Vestia number fours. Oh, all right. That sounds, sounds really, you know, very approachable for sure. Absolutely. 
Excellent. And then there, I'm assuming the response to these has been to these has been uh, very, very yeah. cool as well. Absolutely, uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, we've been demoing the the Vestia number twos uh, mm-hmm. in this room, and, and and people are blown away. You know, at uh, of, of the performance uh, that we're able to get out of out of such a small speaker, the low end frequency, uh, and again, they retail right around about twenty eight hundred dollars a pair. Outstanding. Yeah, very very cool. That's that's great. Yeah, that's it's fun. That's. It's. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see it, and we definitely be hopefully uh, in line to to maybe review some of these because. Oh, for sure. Sound. Yeah. Again, we we've, we've already got a lot of requests for. I'm yeah, sure. Even though the official launch was yesterday, uh, you know we've got we've got a lot of people that are excited about uh, being able to audition these. You won't be able to make them fast enough. <laughs> we're trying. We're definitely trying our best. Oh, um, you know, and again, that you know, that's obviously a challenge. Being the fact that you know all, all of our floor sanding products, even our entry level Coraline, is all made in France. Wow, very nice, very nice. Ah. Uh. Uh, like I said, Chris, thank you very much for for indulging us and and for the time. We really appreciate it, and uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of uh, rest of your CES. Wonderful. Thank you for having us. No problem. Thank you, Chris. Take care. Thank you.